In this GeoGuessr video, I'm doing another collaboration with ZigZag, where he has made some tricky maps specifically for me, and I will be doing my best to get a good score in them. Each location will have a hint, and if you want to play along, the links and the hints will be in the description. Don't forget to press that like button, and after watching this video, don't forget to check out ZigZag's video where he plays my maps. So, here we go, the first challenge that ZigZag has created. No time limit, no moving, but we can pan and zoom. And this is all official. That's right. So, what's, official what's, the, what's the hint here? So this location is was is within 150 kilometers of four capital cities. Oh wow, 150 mm -hmm. kilometers from four capital cities. Wow, that's interesting. We have some black chevrons, and that many capital cities. This is a weird. What are these bollards? I don't recognize these bollards. Mm, the bollard king himself, but does he know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognize. These are some weird ones you have found. These black and I'm white glad. black and white chevrons, um I know a couple of countries where you can get them like um Italy, Greece, Albania, Spain sometimes. I'm so I'm thinking in that area, but uh, You always have your uh, you always have your hints as well, of course. Yeah, I have I have the three power ups. I'm I'm thinking maybe sh should I use it on the first location already? Wait, can I see the plate? The, the car is a bit too far. The car is a bit too far to see the plate. The palm trees are throwing me off. I was thinking like maybe something like Albania, but but would Albania have palm trees like this? Okay, I'm gonna ask, is this mm, Greece by any chance? This is not Greece. Okay. Not Greece. Should I go Albania? Oh god. Maybe kinda of southern Albania. But it's mountainous there. It isn't that hilly here. I mean we do have some hills around, but Yeah, we do, we do. Oh, if only I had compass. <laughs> yeah, compass would help, that's for sure. Oh no. Okay, I, I think I'll go with Albania, uh, but 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 where where is it kind of flatter in Albania? Maybe somewhere here. But I'm I'm afraid my guess will be so wrong. But okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll go there. Let's see. Oh. It. Okay, I see Israel. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. That was a hard round. I was so was. surprised when I saw that plantation there. Well, palm trees make sense, makes more sense for Israel mm -hmm. than Albania, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But that is an interesting one. I didn't know Israel yeah, also has those chevrons. Yeah, and, and so we were like right between those four capital cities of the four countries around it. And mm -hmm. also, there were yellow outside lines, but they were very hard to make out. Like, the oh, sun were was they yellow? In a yeah. Way where you could, yeah, the oh, sun was shining in a way that made them look white. They looked all white to me, yeah. But okay, at, at least some points. At least I get some yeah, points. Yeah, you got some points. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, let's go for the next one. Let us. Ooh. Okay, I see. Okay, what, what's the clue mm -hmm. here? Okay, so the clue is that we, here, we are 10 kilometers from the east coast of this nation. Ooh, okay, so it's a coastal country. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. We have Generation 2. That's, mm -hmm. that's also nice to notice. Very rural location. And, and mountainous as well. That's, that's also mm -hmm. a good mm -hmm. clue. Big mountains. Well, my first thought was maybe somewhere South African, maybe. Because I know it can get quite green there, and it definitely has a lot of mountains. So my, my, my initial thought was maybe somewhere, somewhere here-ish. Hmm. I think I might ask for hemisphere on this one. What, what mm -hmm. hemisphere okay. is this? This one is in the Northern Hemisphere. Northern, okay. Okay, so it's not going to be South Africa. <laughs> Time to switch up. To, <laughs> Time, to Time switch. to switch up that. <laughs> <laughs> Time to switch my thinking. What could it be? I wasn't thinking it looks particularly European, but hmm, what else could it be? Generation 2. Could this ever be Asia? What are those things? Are those houses in the distance or...? I'm not sure either, to be honest, but I'm 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 curious to know as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even it know is. the continent. Well, at least I know the hemisphere now. Mexico? Could this be Mexico? When Mexico can have Gen 2? That, that actually kind of makes sense. I think I might go, yeah, kind of kind of Eastern Mexico, like around this area. I think that that's my best shot here. Let's... Oh, that one. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Some cheeky Gen 2 Taiwan. Cheeky. <laughs> I, I did consider Taiwan in my mind, but, but yeah. I, I thought. Yeah, just didn't, You're didn't think it was that likely. The, uh, 
Look at the uh, latitude, though. The latitude was the latitude. A, at least something was right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, not not the great greatest. greatest to be fair, that that was a very tough round. I've been a little mean on some of these. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, challenge is good. Ooh, challenge okay. is good indeed. Okay, what what do we have here? Okay, so this one, a simple clue: the nearest town to this location is called Mona Mona. Mona Mona. Oh. M O N A. M O N A. Mona Mona. So it is. It looks Generation Four. Oh, we have a yellow sign in the distance. It's kind of on the left side of the road. So does that mean that we are driving on the left side? I'm currently thinking maybe something like Malaysia. I I don't know if Malaysia would have Mona Mona as an as, as a place. Yeah, I, I don't think I should focus on Mona Mona too much because because I feel like that that's gonna only distract me in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For 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 me, Mona... you still have your continent clue as well, of course. Oh yeah, that's that's a fair point. So you can ask me for the continent as well. For me, Mona Mona sounds kind of African, maybe, but I may be very wrong. I'll I'll mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll go with my gut. I think I will go Malaysia, but I'm really afraid that it's gonna be very wrong. Um, I don't know. Let's go kind of in the middle-ish, maybe. Mm. See. Australia! <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh, oh, Mona Mona. Oh, makes there sense. There it is. Mona Mona makes sense for Australia, yeah. Oh. A lot of, like, double double town names. It's quite common over here. Yeah, like Wagga yeah. Wagga and, yeah. 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 Mm, I should have thought of it. <laughs> okay, not, not, not going very well for me thus far. But, but okay. Oh, this is interesting. What's the clue mm -hmm. here? Okay, so this island was occupied by the British for just a few years in the early 1800s. Hmm. So just a few years, not, just a, not few a significant years. amount of time. Okay, just a few years occupied by British. I mean, British have occupied everything, so... <laughs> it's not the most useful clue, <laughs> I admit. <laughs> yeah. But it is an island. That's, that's the big That's the island, yeah. That, we have we're on an island. This is an... These trees are very interesting. I'm not the greatest with with flora, but but I think I've seen some tr similar trees like in, in like in Chile somewhere. But but would Brits have occupied an island in Chile? Could this be Australia again? But the Brits, uh, I mean, you you said the Brits occupied it for a short time, the island, right? That's right. That's right. It was about five years. Mm, so probably not Australia then. What is it? What what is it? <laughs> It doesn't look like a bollard. It looks like some sort of a, of a I don't know. Hydrant? like like yeah, like a hot hydrant. But why here? Mm -hmm. it would make no sense. I... I'm I'm st now starting to think could this be something like Azores maybe? Because because they do have some some different trees from from Europe from mainland, and it, they do have Gen Gen, Gen two. I th maybe maybe I should just go Azores because I don't think continent would help much. Because I'm not. I don't even know is Azores part of Africa or Europe. <laughs> they, mm. they might be considered I think, I think, Africa. I think Canaries are Europe and Azores. I mean, Canaries are Africa and Azores might be Europe, but I could be wrong. Possibly, but I, I wouldn't know. I can't so, so if I asked yeah. for a continent and you said no, it's not Europe, it wouldn't really help me here. If I'm considering Azores, if it isn't Azores, I'm far away from everything. So. <laughs> That's true. It's not a good hedge. <laughs> kind of a, a risky <laughs> guess there, but, but yeah. that, that's, that's genuinely my best guess, so I think I'll go around there. Oh, uh, wow, what? It's a Danish island. And wow. Not. Peter, the, the, the reason these are in this map is because I saw them, I was like, what is this? And then I just <laughs> it's insane, them. <laughs> what? These have been hard rounds. These have been yeah, hard you, rounds. Yeah, you, you, ha you haven't, uh, haven't held back. Pulled no punches, pulled no punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the last round here. Okay, so this is a town of about 10,000 people, and it mm -hmm. has a record high temperature of 35 degrees. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so relatively small town. We have some stickers here. Taxi. Oh, what's the language? The quality is just bad enough, so I can't <laughs> really tell what the language is. Turkish, by any chance. Does Turkey have Gen 2? Maybe some spares? I don't know. I have been known to find some rare Gen 2s for, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, which continent? Well, I guess most of Turkey is considered Asia, right? So, so. so I'm gonna ask, is this Asia? 
This is not Asia. This is not Asia. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I guess. Wait, what is that? Another red and white flag there. Could this be Poland? I mean, the houses. This could be maybe Northern Polish. Poland with Gen 2. Again, uh, it, you don't usually get Gen 2 in Poland, but maybe you could get some, some rare ones. Oh, we have a Cyrillic letter here on this one, this boat. And like, oh, all the texts are just far enough so I can't properly read, <laughs> pro properly read them. That's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should go somewhere like uh, north of Poland, near Kaliningrad or something. Do we see any land? We, we do, do see some land in the distance there. So maybe it could be, could be somewhere like here-ish. Let's, let's hope for the best. Let's see it. Oh, let's Not go! This. Let's Stop go! Saying guess. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy about this Pull one. through at the end. Pull at, through at, at the least end. One, at least one, one good guess this game. So I guess it was Polish flag. That, that Cyrillic was tricky, yeah. but it, in a way it helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was too cheeky with some of these locations. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 6,800 in total. Uh, I'm sure many viewers will, will beat me on this one. So now we, here we have some trekker coverage, which which might be might be trickier, but I still I, I hope I will beat my my um previous score. What's the, what's the hint here? So the hint here is that this island lies on the same latitude as Peru, um, Ooh. but it is a territory of a northern hemisphere country. Ooh, okay, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. I usually hate beach locations, like like with passion. <laughs> Because all the beaches look the same to me in G, I guess, sir. Yes, indeed. This, at least, at least some nicer clues on this. The, the one. clue is good. The, I, I like the clue. Yeah. yeah. So, so same mm -hmm. latitude as Peru, but belongs to someone uh, in a country of, in northern hemisphere. So I'm thinking maybe UK, France. They 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 own a ton of countries. I was thinking British Indian Ocean territory, possibly. That was my first mm -hmm. thought there. The latitude kind of would fit, and it does belong to to the UK. And then what what else could it be? Well, wouldn't it be these islands. And you could also turn on your uh, compass as well, by the way. Oh right, right, right. Okay, I I think that I really don't have any other good good guesses or other than somewhere here. So we have water. Wait, do we see? We do see some some land in the distance. So I, I'm thinking maybe we could be on th then on this side. Yeah, I, th I think I'll go go here and, and hope for the best. Uh, oh no! Yeah. Oh wow! Wait, what even? What? <laughs> the, what the hell? There isn't even anything there. <laughs> it's part of American Samoa, but yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, sorry about that one. <laughs> what the hell? That was a little mean. That was a little mean. <laughs> oh no. Thanks, Rod. I hope not all of the locations are like that. <laughs> no, 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 not all like that. Okay, this one. Um, okay. So here we have a national park, which is surprisingly close to numerous, very large metro populations. Okay, so we have sun to... Well, oh, basically in the sky. Okay. Maybe a little bit to the north. Hard to tell behind the cloud. I was thinking Ecuador, but, 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 multiple metro populations, national park. I have all, all, all of the um, power-ups still available, That's right? That's right. All of them remaining. All of them remaining. Mm -hmm. I think I'll ask for the hemisphere on this one. Yep, this one is in the northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere, okay. So, probably not Ecuador. I'm not sure about the plants. Feel kind of not very European, or maybe Southern <laughs> European, if it is. I don't see any houses in the distance, which sucks. The boats don't <laughs> help too much. Maybe, maybe, I guess, I guess this might be Asia. Oh, what if this is like? Could this ever be Hong Kong? Hmm. And it does have a bunch of very large populations nearby. That's true. And I know Hong Kong is mountainous, and 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 and, and you can get bunch of coverage there but we have some water to our north kind of kind of east northeast there is like an island mate mm, i don't know i don't think it aligns perfectly maybe this one somewhere here because it feels quite rural 
I'm not sure if there is coverage there, but but I I hope so. So let let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. go there. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Ooh, baby, let's go. Oh, nice one. Okay. That was that was crazy good. That was crazy oh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You got the right national park. I loved how <laughs> you just kept on getting closer and closer. You, you had the right thought process. That was great. Yeah, the, the hint really helped here with the, the multiple big big uh, kind of metro areas nearby. Yay, what do we have next? Oh no, another beach! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? This is, I, I think this is the last beach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so UNESCO says that this is one of the few atolls in the world whose ecology has been practically untouched by human presence. Ooh, okay. In other words, like, very remote. Very remote. Very remote, okay. So still two hints with the last three rounds to go. So the sun is to the north. So, so... We should be in the southern hemisphere here. <laughs> A lot of ocean in the southern hemisphere, so, so not, not excited about that. But I'm think, I, I was thinking maybe it could be somewhere like, like in Oceania or, or... If it's quite remote... Then, then I imagine um, it would be hard for me to find. If I saw some birds, I would think maybe it's a Dorito Island as well. But no, no classic Midway at all birds. No, time. no birds this time. Yeah, for me, it's just basically cho choose choose a remote island and hope for the best at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I, I think Prince Edward Islands had some coverage. So, so it is an atoll. It's one of the few atolls in the world whose ecology has been practically untouched. Few atolls. What's the definition of atoll? Oh, a ring-shaped coral reef island. Okay, that's what atoll is. Okay. All the atolls I knew were in the northern hemisphere, so that kind of screws it up for me. This, the... I'll, 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 I'll be nice. This one is marked on the map. It so is marked. You, click, you can click somewhere. Yeah, it does have at least a PUI or something like that. Uh-huh. This one looks like an atoll. Would that have cover official coverage? I have zero idea. But it lo it looks like an atoll. It is in the southern hemisphere, so I think that might be my best shot. I think I'll go there. Not too bad. Oh, it was Pitcairn Islands. Bad. Okay, yeah. I didn't know Pitcairn Islands are considered atoll. Yeah, it didn't. Well, this is just what Google told me, so I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But um, but uh, yeah, I also thought it didn't look particularly atoll like with the with the hill in the background. So sorry if that was. <laughs> wrong, <laughs> yeah, it but... kind of threw me off a little bit, but but uh, yeah. at least I wasn't too far. Definitely could yeah, have actually, been way more far. For, like far if you away. zoom out all the way, it looks very close. For, for a remote island, I think it is pretty pretty okay. Indeed. So Google also told me that's in South America. So I was kind of scared ah. if you asked about the continent because, well. Oh, that, really, that, you wouldn't that really associate tricky. Pitcairn Islands with South America, would you? Yeah, not not really, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ooh, okay. clue for this one, clue for this one. This island is an uplifted coral atoll. It is believed to have been discovered first by the Spanish, but was also occupied by the United States at one point. However, it neither lies in North America nor Europe. Neither North America nor Europe? Yeah. That's an interesting Despite one. the fact that it was discovered by Europeans and then held by North Americans, but mm. no. So we have sun to the south, so it should be northern hemisphere, and if it's neither North America nor Europe, I would go Asia, because I know Spanish explorers did explore a bunch of Asia, and US explores everything and owns everything, so that, that <laughs> wouldn't surprise me either. Another very hilly atoll, apparently. H hilly so. atoll. Yeah. Oh, I don't know which atolls are hilly and which ones aren't, unfortunately. <laughs> Me neither, <laughs> but I, I'm, just I'm just also surprised it's called an atoll, both of them. But yeah, there you go. Mm. So, so it might not look like an atoll. Hmm. So I have country and I have continent, right? So I might as well use one of them on this one. So we have all white mm. road lines, which is interesting. So it, uh, the hint was it used to be owned by US, uh, right? It, it isn't anymore, right? It was occupied by o US. Occupied, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was occupied by US. Mm, maybe this is like Japan. Hmm. Hmm. I think this might hmm. be Japan. I guess I might as well ask. Think ask. Think <laughs> uh, I, I might as well ask uh, the country is this Japan? It is Japan, Peter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So, okay, we have big water to the west, 
with absolutely no land in sight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And definitely worth keeping in mind that the Spanish were the, like, they're thought to be the first ones to ever find this, even. Hmm. Maybe those are one of these islands. There was, I don't remember if those were these islands or something, or was it this island, but I remember I was watching, like, a video where um, Tokyo owns, like, one of, like, a super remote island and counts, like, like a part of Tokyo. This is uh -huh. quite weird. Oh, Japan has so many islands, I might as well just guess somewhere and then hope for the best. Mm -hmm. But there is nothing to our south as well. Nothing to the south, nothing to the west. I think I might go somewhere here and ho hope for the best. I'll Ooh! see it. No, let's go. Oh. Let's go. Another good Oh guess, my god. Baby. Let's go. Well, interesting that Fantastic. I didn't see this island. Yeah, that is interesting, hmm. actually. Weird, but yeah, still, I'm very well, happy, they're though. They're only 10 kilometers away, 10 kilometers apart, basically, so. You're coming back from behind. Coming really back. Like yeah, at least a yeah, decent score by this point. So what, what's, what's the hint on the last one? This island has a landing fee of roughly... Uh, five US dollars, which or, or or about you know roughly four euros sixty six, and mm -hmm. it's also located in a city. Island located in a city that has a landing fee. Interesting. I'm looking at the architecture, trying to trying to figure out what is is this Europe? Some of the houses look quite European to me. So I have continent remaining. So. That's right. Yeah, continent so, remains. So at the sun, the sun, where is the sun? The sun, oh, the sun is to the north, huh? Okay. So probably not Europe then. Could this ever be Australia? The houses didn't feel particularly Australian to me. South America, maybe. Okay, I think I'm going to ask, is this South America? This is not in South America. Oof. I mean, Australia and New Zealand make the only sense then, I guess. Maybe, maybe it's like, and there are a couple of islands near Auckland, so I don't know if it counts as part of Auckland, but it's pretty close, so it doesn't really align, does it? We have city to our and the southeast. Don't forget the landing fee, so to, to, landing. to set foot on the place, it yeah. costs about five dollars. Yeah, I'm looking for... for like an airport or something, but I don't see one. Oh, uh, would this ever be something like Sydney? When I when I say landing, it I don't doesn't necessarily have to be from an airplane. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But thanks it's, for, it's thanks an for the so correction. Anyway, any way you can get there. Any okay. Way you can get there. It doesn't look like a very large city to our at least east. I mean, there are some houses, but but I think the the this Sydney part would look different. Fort. No, but we don't have a fort here, do we? Um, okay. Clark Island, maybe. I don't know. This might not even be Sydney. I'm just, just looking around at the islands at this point. Okay, let's... Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'll go... Fine. I think I'll keep it there. Maybe it's a different Australian city. Or maybe it's, it's something completely else. Uh, I'll see. Oh my Punk. god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's insane. Go, baby. <laughs> Wow! Well, I guess. <laughs> wow! I did not so expect much, that. You came back so much, Peter. You came back so hard. That's crazy. Every round at the end there. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. That's for sure. Wow! I did not expect you to do so much better on the trekker as well. I thought the trekker ones were the hard ones, but you nailed them. <laughs> If you haven't seen Zigzag's video, I will leave it in the description. Go and check it out. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you in the next video.